you some exciting football action. And I'll tell you what, this is a heated in-state rivalry. It's time for the coin toss now, presented by Coke Zero. Real Coke taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. That kickoff wasn't very good. Here's the call. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. Oh, man, did he shank that one? You can't go giving away great field position like that. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. at about the 47-yard line. I'm really liking what I see from this guy. He's not afraid to go to the air on any down. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. Complete. He's got room. And they push him out at the 45-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. He might have a chance. He's at the 30. He's pushed out of bounds at the 28-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Screen pass. He's got his half back. Brought down Number at the 21. Number 15 with the tackle at the 21-yard line. That makes it second and two. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. Converts the extra point. Kentucky kicked this one off. He tries to get around the corner. And down he goes at the 32. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. He's taken down around the 42-yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. From their own 42-yard line, first down. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. He's tackled at the 25. First down.
We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25. And they make the stop at the 14. That makes it first and ten. Set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback, and down he goes at the nine. Gaining five on the play. That brings him second and five. We've got a second and five. Ball on the nine. On the ground with the tailback. And he's tackled right around the 10 yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. Strike to his receiver, no good. But he must have hurried there because his receiver was wide open. There was no need to rush that one at all. Fourth down, this one should be makeable. Kicks away, and the field goal is good. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Louisville gets set to kick this one away. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Kentucky holds a four-point lead. And he's tackled after positive yardage. out to around the 38. They'll bring him down around the 46-yard line. Seven yard line. All the game is not in the That brings in second and one. Navajo! Play fake, looking to run. Tackle made at the 30. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 31-yard line. Here's a little draw play. He gets out to about the 21-yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. Kentucky is up four. Quick strike to the receiver. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Goes to the end zone, and he's got the halfback. Touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. First quarter's over. Watch out, folks. This one is turning into a major upset. 
14-3, Wildcats. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He scrambles. Tackle right around the 34. That's good for it's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And he has it on the corner. And now he's got room to run. Humble! And no one can get it. It bounces out of bounds. They get a little sloppy here with their ball handling. It's a good thing they were near the sideline. Otherwise, the defense could have pounced on that football. From the 43-yard line, first down. Brought down right around the 12-yard line. Number five with the tackle at the 12-yard line. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Two down, two down. Mike 40, Mike 40. Fires out to his wideout. They pick up two on the pass play. The defense respects this guy and knows they have to pay a lot of attention to him. He didn't have any room after that catch. Second down and eight. Ball on the 10-yard line. Fires quickly to the tight end. He's got it. Touchdown. These guys need to be aware this aerial attack is capable of making some big plays. They've got to get on their toes. the extra point a five play 75 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff from the five yard line and he's tackled at the 31 yard line momentum swings have been fairly even and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Kentucky is up by four. Run, 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 run. He gets to about the 41-yard line. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. it out to maybe the 49-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. Another run. Tries to get around the corner. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line. It's first down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Ready. 
Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Run right side. He makes his way out to about the 25. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick out to his receiver. And he tackles him hard at the 17. Kentucky holds a four-point lead. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. He's taken down at the 12. So the completion goes for about five yards and a first down. And that's just great execution on that short pass play. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. Gets it to his wide receiver and he's got another one. And he shoved out of bounds at about the five yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. Fires to the end zone, picked off. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. From their own 20-yard line, first down. The Wildcats lose one of their key players with that injury earlier. Still in the locker room. We don't know the severity, but unlikely that he'll play any more football this afternoon. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. He gets rid of this one. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Passing situation here on third and long. Ball on the 13. He gets to about the 27-yard line. They almost got themselves out of a big hole, but it was not to be. Now they still managed a good gain on third down, and sometimes that's enough to get your confidence back. He makes it to the 48-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Kentucky is up four. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at the 36. Fires complete over the middle. And he is drilled at the 25-yard line. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Number two brings his down at the 23 yard line. They come out in a five wide set. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Excellent open field tackle. The Wildcats call a timeout. That's their second of the half. One minute left in the first half. Just throws this one away. rid of it from the 11 yard line third down catches it and he's looking for more touchdown Wildcats
gets the PAT. So a seven play 51 yard drive and the result seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. So our score 21 10 and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20, and he's taken down at the 24. Louisville's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen, but, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. And you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. They're about four yards away here on second down. And he's hit immediately. First down. Scrambling around. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. Slides down. Quick throw to the back. It's incomplete. From the 41-yard line, it's second down. He might not be able to get the pass off. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make the play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. The ball pops free. It's picked up by the defense. They work hard and they got the turnover. Uh, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. he's going to be okay. They got into the end zone last time. Let's see if they can match that on this possession. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. So we'll probably get one last heave to the end zone here before halftime. He wants it all. And he hauls it in. Touchdown, Kentucky! He's already thrown for three scores. Well, the quarterback's going to get a lot of credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of time to make decisions back there in the pocket. He makes the PAT. Well, we've played a half of football. Kentucky's up by 18. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both offenses rolling at will in the first half. And as you watch these teams head to the locker room for halftime, there were some skill guys. That, that chest was puffed out a little bit more. They were kind of looking up in the stands and said, did you see what I just did? <laughs> yeah, see, ready to pat their stats, get some helmet stickers. Yeah, they're all excited. But I tell you what, that's the one thing that's hard about the game of football you see all the time is the momentum swings. Once you really get dialed in and once things start going your way, sometimes it's hard to stop it. And that's why you see runs on offense. And both offenses 
in great rhythm. I mean, they, they haven't had many negative plays. Everything's gone in the right direction. They're both performing at a high level. One of these defenses in the second half needs to step up, make some plays, get them out of their comfort zone a little bit. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. The offense will take the field, and they've been moving the ball very well on their last couple of drives. by the quarterback. He had no shot at completing it. From their own 26-yard line, it's third down. Defense goes with the extra defensive back as the offense comes up five wide. Calls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Fires out to his receiver. Knocked out of bounds at the 44. Five wide. Slings it. And down he goes at the 34-yard line. play of this drive. That makes it second and ten. Second and goal. Ten yards to the end zone. Check, check. The mic. Now he tries to buy some time. And he's going to come up with a sack. That makes it third and goal. This is the 11th play of this drive. Touchdown, Wildcats! And he tacks on the extra point. So an 11 play, 79-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. He really got a hold of that kick. 
He's taken down at the 17-yard line. The Wildcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. He scrambled. So he keeps it and picks up maybe a yard on the play. One thing about this linebacker over the years that separates him from the rest are his instincts and ability to make the play. That's a nice tackle by the senior. We've got a second and nine here. Ball on their own 18. Strike to his receiver, no good. Screen pass, he's got his half back. He's pushed out of bounds around the 27 yard line. That's a deep, 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 deep. First down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 27. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. Game of 13 yards. That makes it first and 10. Mike 40, Mike 40. Get him, get him, get him. Ready. Fires it quickly. Makes the catch, and he might take it. Touchdown, cards. Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. Brad, the quarterback and this wide receiver clearly have outstanding chemistry. Wide receiver is so open because it was a perfect route, and the quarterback was able to time it up just perfectly. And he converts the extra point. A five-play, 83-yard drive. And they put up seven points. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yard and just rip the heart right out of that defense. That kickoff wasn't very good. Here's the call. Free kick out of bounds. Kicking team. You know, the kicker has one job. Kick it downfield and keep it in bounds. This kind of stuff just drives me crazy. They punched it in for six on the last series. Can they do it again? Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. Fires it out. And he's tackled right around the 28-yard line. Good looking play there. I think they did a great job up front here, allowing the quarterback enough time to look downfield and spot the open man. Throws it in a hurry. Inside the 10. He scores. What a play. There's touchdown number five for this quarterback. He's got great blocking up front the entire game, and his receivers are making plays. So I don't just give credit to the quarterback, but this entire offense for getting things done. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Kentucky kicked this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 16-yard line. I think any good football team has to have an ability to answer. And that's exactly what we just saw. One team scores a touchdown. The other team comes right back and puts another touchdown on the board. This is getting exciting. 
The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. And a quick throw. They'll bring him down at about the 23-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Makes the first down catch. The tackle made at about the 35. First down. Rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. Number 82 was the intended receiver on the play from their own 35 yard line. Second down. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. That makes it first and 10. First and ten. Ball on the 47. Three down, three down. Mike, Mike. Let's go. Quick throw. He's hit and taken down. Number 22 brings him down to the 40-yard line. That makes it second and two. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Here we go. Three and five. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Call it a gain of five yards. Here's the eighth play of the series. Can you believe it? We head to the fourth quarter in what has been a stunning game. Kentucky's got a huge lead. Well, folks, we head into the fourth quarter, and this one is a blowout. Catch and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and goal. It's the ninth play of the drive. Get that quarterback. Get off. Let's go. Red 18. Hot. Red 18. Dives for extra yardage. From the one yard line. Second down. Touchdown, Cardinals. A short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. He hits the PAT. A 10 play, 83 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brought down at the 43 yard line. Now they practiced all week this week, and they told us yesterday, Brad, that they felt pretty good about what they put in, the plan that they had. And I think now that you see them playing today, it's no wonder they felt so good. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Quick pass. He's taken down around the 32-yard line. He 
Evans at the 20. And he's taken down right around the 16-yard line. This one might be coming back, Official folks. Stop. Let's check out the penalty. Offense. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. From the 36-yard line, first down. Gets it. He's in space. He's tackled at the 26-yard line. Number 12 on the The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. They're about four yards away here on third down. And that one's incomplete. That makes it fourth and four. The kick is up. It's got the distance. He clanks it off the upright. No good. Anybody who tells you that football isn't a game of inches might want to have a talk with this kicker. It doesn't get any closer than that. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. And he hits him hard at the 31. From their own 31-yard line, second down. They'll make the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. From their own 25-yard line, it's third down. Just under three to go in regulation. Swings it out left to the halfback. Breaks one. He gets hit out of bounds at the 48. That makes it first and 10. He might not be able to get the pass off. They bring the quarterback down. That makes it second and 14. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Let's go! Caught, open field. Tackle at the 47-yard line. Number 16 brings him down at the 47-yard line. That'll make it 35. Down around the 29 yard line. First down. Here they come. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And down he goes at about the 19 yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Big opening. Touchdown, Kentucky. And it's the defense that comes up with a play of the game that should ice this one.
And he adds the extra point. Kentucky to kick. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. Makes it to the 22-yard line. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. Just over a minute left. Fires out to his wideout. Knocked out of bounds at the 39. That's a good game of 17 yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's got it out to his tight end. And they make the stop at the 46. Number four on the tackle at the 46-yard line. That makes it second and two. on the ground and the offense will recover they'll wrestle him down in the backfield so that sack leaves them a little ways to go here it's third down and 13. he's gonna go for the home run and he's tackled right away huge play for both the quarterback and receiver but it all starts with the big fellas up front who provided the time to get the quarterback a chance to throw And he's going to be sacked for a loss. So the sack makes this a second and long. Under a minute left. He has some room. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. That's a game of eight on the play. That'll make it third and nine. Right and left, right and left. Four down, four down. Four is the mark. Please. Well, the stop made there late in the fourth quarter, but this game's been over almost since the beginning. I think it's time for everybody to head to the locker room. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, Kentucky 29, Louisville 24. So what are your final thoughts on this one, Kirk? Well, this rivalry game didn't live up to the hype this year. There's pure gratification on one sideline and sheer disappointment on the other. You can bet that the loser in this one will have this date marked in red on their calendar for next year. Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. This is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.